All right, Dave, thanks so much. There has been an exciting new breakthrough for the visually impaired. Here with more is CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Siebert. Daniel, good morning to you. Good, good to morning, you. Chris. You know, visually impaired and blind people face challenges like getting around every day. But the idea of driving a car has always been off limits until now. For a nation of drivers, nothing says freedom like getting behind the wheel of a car. It's a feeling that eludes the 20 plus million Americans who are visually impaired, like Ty Case. You kind of feel like you lose your identity, really. Case went blind 14 years ago after complications with juvenile diabetes. Unable to drive during that time, he recently got a chance to go for a spin again. Uplifting, exhilarating, liberating. Click wheel Engineers at Virginia Tech fire. have now created a vehicle that visually impaired people can actually drive. The driver drives the car via a regular steering wheel and an acceler uh, accelerator and a brake. This prototype was developed by Dennis Hong and a team of robotic students at the request of the National Federation of Blind People all for just $3,000 in grant money. How it works is uh, a laser shoots out from the sensor right over here. If there's an obstacle in front of it, it bounces off. That laser pointer feeds data to an onboard computer that then communicates what's ahead to the driver. So this vehicle is actually talking to me in a sense. Right now, the vest is vibrating. That's telling me that I'm either coming up to an obstacle or going a little too fast, and so I have to come to a complete stop. And then I'm also getting audio cues that are telling me to turn slight left, or slight right as I'm going forward. There you go. At a recent test in College Park, Maryland, blind teenagers came from as far away as Iowa for the chance to experience the thrill of driving for the first time. I thought it was probably the best thing that I've ever done in my life. It was extremely fun. It was exciting. And I just had so much more freedom and I was like, it just really made it seem like it could really be a reality someday. And there are useful applications for the technology beyond benefits for the blind, especially handy for today's drivers, since recent studies have found that drivers distracted by talking on a cell phone are four times as likely to get in an accident. You're driving, a car jumps into the lane, you're not paying attention. Uh, the laser ranger finder detects that, you know, shakes the chair or the vest or something like that. But with the technology still years away from being roadworthy, People like Ty Case still have to rely on family and good friends to get around for now. Now, Virginia Tech's Dennis Hong knows that the idea of having blind drivers on the road is, well, a little scary for many people, but he thinks the technology will actually be ready before society will, will be. Not quite ready for prime time, Chris, but some amazing students working on this stuff. All right, Daniel, thanks so much. It's amazing. We're sitting in here right now. CBS's Daniel Seberg joining us. Now Greg Janneman joins us. He's a former Virginia Tech student and last year's team leader who helped design this groundbreaking vehicle. Good morning, Greg. Good to morning. see you. Good uh, morning. It's a tight fit, uh, but at the same time, it's amazing what you were able to do. How many man hours did this take? Oh, gosh. Well, we had nine undergraduate students and uh, two semesters. One semester of design and one semester of construction. And the goal is to eventually make a full-scale vehicle as well. This is kind of a tester in this size, but to eventually one day do a full-size vehicle. Absolutely. We made a modular system that we could put on basically any vehicle. Okay. Now, you saw some of the, obviously, in Daniel's reports, you've got the vibrations here. Correct. Which will give you right, left. I'm going to put goggles on. Yeah. So the simulate. vibrations will tell you when to stop. Right, left will come from the audio. And the headphones. Let me yep. do the headphones yep. first. So I'll put the headphones, which will tell me, which will give me a little guidance. Okay. So right now it's saying tell you to hold. Put... Yep. Okay. Great. So uh, when you're ready, uh, yep. just slowly ease off your left foot on the brake. You're ready to go. Yep. Okay. It's saying slight right and slight left right now. Yeah. And now it's vibrating. Okay. Uh, it's amazing. There are so many things going on. Now, granted, I only did about 10 feet, it feels right. like, in a straight line, which is not very difficult. But uh, between what you're, what's going on in your ears and uh, all the other things, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's Absolutely. Really, you're New York's first blind driver. Really amazing. Thank you very much. We it's appreciate pleasure. you taking the time. This Thank is, you. Uh, is incredible what you've done, and we look forward to, to more progress here. Absolutely. All right, Julie, let's go out to you in Los Angeles. This was really, uh, it's amazing, to be honest with you. It is. And that kid is so sweet. Trust me, you are not... New York's first blind driver. <laughs>